myself Vedika Manpati. Today I am here to explain you about the chapter which is cube number 3. Introduction. I will start using the numbers itself. I will use numbers because for the it is needed for the representation. If we multiply number 3 times by itself, we get some numbers. For example, 1 into 1 into 1 is equal to 1. 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. 3 into 3 into 3 is equal to 27. 4 into 4 into 4 is equal to 64. So, these numbers 1, 8, 27 and 64 are known as perfect cubes or cube numbers. So, the first question which you should ask me is that why do we call them cube numbers? I will try answering all of your questions. See, what are cubes in diagram? A cube is a solid figure with all equal sides. To understand this further, how these are related to the cube numbers, I will ask you one question. How many cubes of side 1 cm will make a cube of side 2 cm? So how we count it is basically by using the multiplication. 3. We should measure this cube 2 along the length, 2 along the breadth and 2 along the height is equals to length into breadth into height that is 2 into 2 into 2. So here will be 8 cubes of side 1 cm which will make a cube with 2 cm. It is just similar to finding the volume of the cube just multiplying the length into breadth into height. So that's why they are known as 3 dimensional numbers because we are multiplying length into breadth into height. Second. How many cubes of size 1 cm will make a cube of size We will have to multiply which is 3 into 3 into 3 which is again along the length same thing will be 3 along the breadth and 3 along the height Now it is totally three into three into three, which is twenty-seven. So now we have already solved the second question. You remember I had already said that the cubes will be multiplied three times. The numbers one into one into one, that is one. It will change into 1 cube 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 which will change into 2 cube 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27 which will change into 3 cube this is how we represent or if we are multiplying a number by itself 3 times and if it is an n multiply it by itself three times which is n into n into n you will get n cube it is a general format of perfect cube i think these numbers are very easy to understand so i am going to show you 1 to 10 cube numbers cube numbers 1 to 10 1 into 1 into 1 is equals to 1 that is 1 cube 2 into 2 into 2 that is it that is 2 square 2 cube 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27 is equals to 3 cube 
4 into 4 into 4, that is 64, is equal to 4 cube. 5 into 5 into 5 is equal to 125, that is 5 cube. 6 into 6 into 6, that is 216, that is 6 cube. 7 into 7 into 7, that is 343, that is 7 cube. 8 into 8 into 8, that is 412, that is 8 cube. 9 into 9 into 9, that is 729, that is 9 cube. And last it is 10 cube. 10 into 10 into 10, 1000, that is 10 cube. So these are, are the first 10 cube numbers in this particular table. Two patterns of cube numbers. These are the two types of patterns of cube numbers. First one is addition of consecutive odd numbers and second one is prime factorization of cube numbers. I will start up with addition of consecutive odd numbers. Means adding the odd consecutive numbers where the result we will get is cube numbers which is 1 is equal to 1 it is 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 that is 2 cube 7 plus 9 is equal to 27 that is 3 cube 11 plus 13 plus 15 it will become as 64 it will be 4 cube see here all the cube num all the odd numbers will change into cube numbers these numbers are example of consecutive odd numbers three you may be having doubt that how to use for the bigger numbers this step but i have a solution you can use this step for the bigger numbers first we have to take five five cube you know the answer that is 125 to clarify it i will show you we have to divide by 125 by 5 it will be 25 so we need five numbers first we have to take 25 then we have to take all consecutive numbers to the left and to the right two 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 numbers that are 21 23 and here we have 27 and 25 now we have to add all these numbers which will be the result as 125 now we have got the answer and now i am going to explain the second example that is 6 cube 6 cube we know that answer is 216 216 by 6 is equal to we have to divide them and answer is 36 36 then it is the even number so to make it to get num two more numbers we have to minus one odd number this side and we have to add here one more odd number that are 35 and 37 so now we have go got the three numbers so still one more we have to add here and also add this side that are 31 35 37 39 and 33 so add them all and the result will be 260 they are same both also so now maybe your doubt is cleared three the second pattern is prime factorization of cube numbers we will understand the patterns based on cubes and their prime factors basic example is the column and in this table, first column represent the n means it is number, and the second column represent the cubes of the number that is generalizing as n cube. And let us take the example as 4 4 into 2, and this side let us take 4 cube is equal to 64. Answer is 64. So 64 is equal to 8 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 2 this is here we have a total 6 2 so it is considered as 2 into 2 square into 2 2 cube into 2 cube. So if we take 4, 4 if you try to factorize it, it will be into 2. So I have taken here 4 into 2. And here the 64 will be prime factorized as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So it is, so now we can see here 2 cube. Now I am going to end my session and I am also sure that you, you have enjoyed this session. And also learned most of the things from the cube numbers.